Welcome to Stitching with Cindy Botts. Today we're going to talk about making this cute little dog cover. It is like a cape that just goes on the doggy's back to keep all oh, the rain and stuff off of him while you take a quick walk. So, or just to look cute too. Photo up. Alright, so let's talk about how we made it. It is not a quick project but it just took me a morning take an afternoon it is only a couple hour project and it is super fun to make it is done by using rectangles nothing super complicated just um, just fun so let's take a look at the construction this is a large rectangle now I have a large dog my dog is a mix with a Labrador and um, a Samoyed so he's a large puppy and I cut my rectangle my base rectangle at 20 by 24 all right so now on the back of this I have um, white flannel so my white flannel was cut at 20 inches by 24 inches to make a nice big rectangle and that's how I started was with a large rectangle of flannel so I have a smaller piece here just so we can talk through the process here is my white rectangle of flannel then I also cut a piece of the blue shirt again it's the same size and um, width length height however you want to say it same size as the flannel piece then I started construction now the first thing I did was determine how long I wanted his tie to be now I wanted the tie to come down longer than the shirt into the belt area here. All right, now your dog is gonna be a different size, so you may need to make it a different length. You may meet, need to make it a different width. So this is four inches wide, and the length, um, like I said, comes past the halfway point um, and down a little bit, okay? So to make that, I cut the panel um, I cut two pieces, four inches wide, by this length, and I'm thinking it's a little over 18 inches, yes. All right, and then I just sewed two, four, um, by 18 or so inches um, rectangles together, sewed down the side, and then I just came into a point and back out. I suggest you either draw that on there or cut it before you do your sewing. Then I just turned the pieces right side out, pressed it, and did a layer of top stitching. Okay. Later, I top stitched this to the blue shirt fabric just so it wasn't flopping around. I then took a narrow piece of that same blue, all right, and I folded it over and I top stitched this part and I just wrapped it around the tie to make a pretend knot, okay, and sewed that little circle to the top and I top sewed in this top seam the tie. I sewed it here and then that little piece, that little strip, I wrapped it around so it would gather it up a little bit and make it look like it's been tied. Okay, so then this part up here, the collar, the collar I made um, five inches wide by the length, the half width I should say, of the um, cape or dog cover, however you want to call this project. I folded that in half, right sides together, and I sewed a diagonal on the one end. Flipped it right sides out. All right, so what we had was right sides together, an angle and a sewing, pulled it right sides together, you know, trimmed that angle down so that it was, um, you know, an angle like that. Let's see if I can kind of mock this up here with my fingers. 
all right and then with the raw edges I put the raw edges at the top here okay so here's your collar piece with the raw edges right like that and that will be in the seam that holds the front of the cape or the cover to the back of the cover okay so now you have your tie piece up here and you have your collar and I did um, one for the left side one for the right side again with that little angle um, and it's all sewn into the top that's all for the top all right then when you come down to do the um, pants section let's just slide this up a little bit again it's just another large rectangle okay so with the black um where did it go i folded over the top edge i just folded over the top edge of my rectangle all right just folded that over so that the raw edges were behind and put a seam of top stitching there and then laid that on the back on the um, blue of the shirt sewed that down you can see right here I sewed that down if I pull back the belt you can see where it's sewn down and that is fast pants now for the belt again it's just another rectangle this time I just folded the um, sides in the ends in sewed them down laid it on top of the black and sewed that down all right so that it would be sewn right on the black i left a little bit of an edge here okay then to make these little belt loops i just took a narrow strip of black fabric and did the fold over half fold in a quarter fold in a quarter and sew that down okay just really quick um, then I tossed in the edges underneath here I wish I would have gotten them tucked in just a little bit better if I was going to do it again I think I would tuck it in and sew close to the side here and close to the side versus the center but it's all right all right then you just put your um, tie where you want it lay it flat and top stitch that down so it's not flapping for the puppy okay now i made these straps i took a six inch piece of material and i did the um, press it at a half fold it in and um, fold it in to make it this width all right and just stitch down from both sides and that's my strap i folded the one end of the strap over and sewed on the velcro all right and there's my velcro sewn onto it i made it um, i used two pieces of velcro made it nice and wide all right and i stuck it on the edge of the on the side by the shirt here so that those raw edges are now encased in that seam all right so you would take that um, strap and put it here and sew it down and then those raw edges like I said will be encased in the seam I did that again for a second strap up here by the collar all right and you're just going to want to measure how um, long you need those straps based on how big your dog is I can't really tell you how um, long to make those and again it's all subject to the size and breed of your dog but it's still a very cute very easy pattern you're just working with rectangles or squares then i just sewed down two pieces of the velcro on the coordinating side all right so you just want to make sure when this comes around your puppy that it comes up and will velcro down make sure you get it on the right side of your strap the correct side of your strap okay then i would pin those down so they don't get caught up in your um, sew and flip so you take your um, flannel and you put the two right sides together and sew around the sides and the edges 
and then you need to remember to leave a good size section for your turnout okay so leave a hole at the bottom and just go up or around the sides and down turn that out um, flip the right side out press it and you're going to want to do some top stitching here and you're going to want to push that raw edge underneath and so your close your opening closed so there you have it a nice cute little cape top for your puppy dog all right i hope you enjoy this tutorial please subscribe and like love to hear your comments bye bye thank you